For the S4 Excel video lesson number five, our topic will be Excel for Agribusiness Opportunity Cost in Farming. First, we need to understand the importance of this concept. Okay, so opportunity cost uh, has a really big importance in the economic world. Uh, this is going to help us to choose the best option among possible options. According to Fernando, opportunity cost represents the potential benefits an individual, investor, or business misses out when choosing one alternative over the other. We have a formula for this uh, term, which is going to be equals return on best forgotten option minus return on chosen option. Ahora, primero tenemos que entender la importancia del costo de oportunidad, ya que nos ayudará a escoger la mejor opción basada en las opciones presentadas. De acuerdo con Fernando, el costo de oportunidad representa los beneficios potenciales que un individuo, inversionista o una empresa pierde al momento de elegir una alternativa sobre la otra. Este término tiene una fórmula que va a ser igual a devolución de la mejor opción perdida menos la devolución de la opción elegida. So, the opportunity cost formula is going to help us in many ways. We have, as I mentioned at the beginning, we have return on chosen for gun option minus return on chosen option. So, in this case, the formula is going to calculate the difference between the expected return of each choice and also is going to determine the cost of an option not chosen. And we're going to be using this formula for the next um, farming case scenario. Formula de costo de oportunidad. Eh, como mencioné al principio, esto va a ser igual a la devolución de la mejor opción perdida menos la devolución de la opción elegida. Esta fórmula nos va a ayudar en varias formas. Primero, va a calcular la diferencia entre el rendimiento esperado de cada opción. Y segundo, va a permitirnos analizar los costos de una opción que la persona no eligió. En este caso, la usaremos para un caso de agricultura y veremos eh, qué opciones son las mejores basándonos en un número de diferentes posibilidades. So now we're going to stop. Uh, these are going to be the instructions for the lesson handout. First, you need to open the handout lesson titled Opportunity Cost in Farming and complete the quiz. Once you finish uh, answering and, re and reviewing the quiz, please download Excel for Agribusiness case studies and open the case uh, number five worksheet. And then start filling in the totals, which are going to be the blank, blank spaces in the green table uh, titled Leasing versus Farming the Land you will see the table that is going to look like this one right here, on my right. Por el momento, vamos a detenernos y continuaremos con las instrucciones para el folleto de la lección. Primero, abriremos el documento de la lección que es titulada Opportunity Cost in Farming y completa el cuestionario. Una vez que termines de responder y revisar el cuestionario, vamos a descargar Excel para casos de agronegocios y abre la hoja de trabajo número 5. Completa los totales, que son los los espacios en blanco y este, estos se encuentran en la tabla titulada Leasing versus Farming the Land. Es una tabla muy parecida a esta que la encontrarás en tu hoja de trabajo caso número 5. Ok, so this is how our table is going to look like. We have the Leasing versus Farming Land table. Uh, of course, we have 80 acre land. So the first cell, as you can see, we have the rental price per acre. And the bottom one is the number of acres, which is 80 um, acres in the land. Next, we have the war revenue and production cost of war. So as you can see, we have the four different cells that we need to fill in. Starting with the first one, what's a net profit? Remember that net profit is going to be the revenue of the revenue of a good minus the production cost of that good. So in this case, we have 1600, which is the war revenue per acre minus the production cost of that um, crop per acre. It's going to give us $220. Now moving to the next section, we have the net profit on renting and farming 80 acres. Here, the, first, the second cell, we need to find the rental net profit, which is going to be a multiplication of the 250 as the rental price per acre 
times 80, which is the number of acres. So the farmer in this option will receive around $20,000 for uh, leasing the 80 acres of his land. The next option is if the farmer decides to you know, plant war in this case. So as you can see, we have the net profit of 220, which is going to be that times the 80 acres. So he will receive around $17,600 for uh, farming the 80 acres with war. So now we, have, we need to find out the opportunity cost of this case. Remember our formula, which is the uh, foregone option minus the chosen option. So for instance, let's say that the farmer decides to plant war and not, you know, rent or lease his land. This will be the case. The foregone option, which is, okay, I don't want to rent my, I don't want to lease or rent my land minus the option I'm, I want to, I'm choosing, you know, in this case, he decides to plant war. So it's going to give us $2,400 as the opportunity cost of his uh, decision. So the case conclusion based on the Excel results, uh, as we saw, if, if the farmer decides to farm the land, he will forego the opportunity to earn $2,400 per year, as you can see it here. So the best option in this case is the farmer will need to lease his land and earn the $20,000 in this case that we just got here by leasing those 80 acres in his land. Or there's another option. He can maybe think about another crop that can produce higher net profits than 20,000 per year. So, you know, that can increase his or her net profits based on these decisions. En este caso, la conclusión del caso basada en los resultados de Excel son los siguientes. Si el agricultor decide plantar eh, su campo, va a perder la oportunidad de ganar $2,400 por año, que es lo que aquí predijimos en nuestra tabla de Excel. Entonces, la mejor opción será arrendar el campo y ganar $20,000 por las 80 acres que va a este, arrendar. O, también podemos encontrar otra opción que será considerar otro cultivo que pueda producir altas ganancias este, arriba de los 20 mil 20, por año. Esto ya será basado en, en, en lo que la persona decida plantar.